What's going on YouTube? Jeans here back again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, Rank Battles for Regulation D is now live and I'm going to be showcasing arguably one of the best teams to use in Regulation D to push high ranks and the master tier. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel, Take two seconds every day to click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. You can also stay up to date on all of my content by ringing those notification bells. Greatly appreciated. But this team right here was actually made by Pokesports and his Discord community. So huge shout out to them. I will be linking them down in the description below and I will also have the Poke base for you guys. But I was saving this team for when ranked battles went live considering it is just top tier with a bunch of meta Pokemon. It's not a fun team. It's not a cool off meta team. But if you guys want to push high ranks, this is the squad to rent. You have Pokemon like Tuanatus, who is going to be top tier in the support field, and then Shen Pao, Dragonite, Urshfu, who are absolutely insane within this meta. First Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be the Tornadus. Like I already said, its support is out of this world. Best support mon, hands down, in Regulation D. It's got Prankster, it has the Wakan Berry as item, Rock and Fleek Windstorm, Tailwind, Taunt, and Rain Dance for a phenomenal moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Urshfu, and Urshfu, whether it be the Water one, well, the Water one's going to be a little bit better than the Dark one, but... Whether it be the Water one or the Dark one, is still very, very powerful. As Unseen Fist hit through protects the Assault Vest as item, Rocket Aqua Jet, Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, and Ice Spinner. Third Pokemon is going to be Shen Pao, and just like Regulation C, Series C, whatever you guys want to call it, Shen Pao is going to be amazing. It's very fast, hits like a truck, drops defenses for allied Pokemon to hit even harder, so pair it up with Dragonite, and you're going to be able to steamroll teams. He has Swords of Ruin, the Focus Ash as item, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Dragonite is in our 4 slot, and like I said, he paired up with Shen Pao, he can E-Speed and just start killing it. He's got Multi-Scale, the Choice Band as item, E-Speed, Terror Blast, Stomping Tantrum, and Outrage. Moltres is our 5th Pokemon, and I actually just recently showcased Moltres, so if you guys want a Moltres video, it's already out there, go check out the channel. But this one has Berserk, the Citrus Berry as item, Fire Wrath, Hurricane, Nasty Plot, and Protect, such a solid Pokemon with great stats all around. Final Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane, and Fluttermane is him. Ever since it came out in Series 2, Fluttermane was able to dominate the meta and is still very, very powerful within this regulation. He has Protosynthesis, the Pixie Plate as item, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the best team for regulation D. Hopping into our first match for Ranked Battles for Regulation D. You guys can see it's ranked in the top right hand corner. It says Ranked Battles, but we're going up against a Trick Roomish team, kind of, a little bit. They also have Fluttermane, Spiritomb, Ursula Luna, Delphox, who, not too bad. And then they got Iron Hands and Amoongus. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? Shen Pao, Dragonite are going to be amazing. I also really like Pokemon like Urshifu in this matchup. So, you know what? I might lead Urshifu, and I might lead a Pokemon that can taunt like Tornadus. Or do I just want to go hyper offensive? I kind of feel like going hyper offensive. I feel like that could definitely be the play for us. So you know what? I'm going to go Urshfu and I'm also going to go Moltres. And then I'm going to have Shen Pao Dragonite in the back end. Just go hyper offensive up against a team like this. I feel as we should just be able to clean it, clean it up pretty well and get after it. Room's going to be a little bit of a problem, but having first turn priority Pokemon like Shen Pao Dragonite and even Urshfu with Aqua Jet is going to be very, very big for us. So I can get down with that. I could definitely get down with that. So leading Pokemon like Urshfu and the uh, Moltres, I think we're chilling. <clears throat> I think we're chilling. But uh, a Pokemon that I think they're going to lead is definitely Fake Out Iron Hands. And I mean, I could double protect, but they're probably going to Fake Out and go for Trick Room. So attacking is going to be our main thing. So I'm just going to start attacking with Shen Pao. I'm going to start attacking with uh, Dragonite. We'll roll out the battle that way. Not Dragonite, Moltres. But uh, huge shout out to my boy Gemini coming in clutch, coming in with that membership. Thank you so much for that membership. And huge shout out to all my members. You guys are real ones. If you guys want to become a member, there is a join button down below. And there is a link down below as well if you guys do not see the join button. When we get enough members, we are going to be making a members discord. And on top of that, you guys get channel perks right away. You get sub badges, you get emotes, priority, and comments. Everything's a party over there. So become a member if you guys are interested in supporting me a little bit extra. But Fluttermane and Ursa Luna are going to come out here. And um, I could Terrasilize the Birdie Bird. I might have to Terrasilize the Birdie Bird. Nice little poison type. Or do I terrestrialize the Urshifu? Just protect the Birdie Bird. Options, options, options. Um, yeah, I feel like that's our play, more so than anything. Terrestrialize, Urshifu, get off some big damage, and just protect the Moltres, right? I think I'm cool with that. Like, Ursaloon is part ground type. We're fine with that. Normal, it might just protect anyway and trigger Guts. 
and I could be fine with that. So if I could just Terrasilize, Fluttermane can't protect through this. We can hit it with Surgeon Strike, Stab, and Terror type Water. And potentially just KO it, which I would love. Just get Fluttermane off the board like that. I would love that. I would love it. So we'll see what he wants to do. He could be protecting Ursaluna and going for Trick Room and Fluttermane, which could be definitely a possibility. He just withdraws Ursaluna, which I'm fine with. I am fine with. Who are you going to go into? Now, Spear Team's going to come out here. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind Spear Team coming out onto the field. So he swaps into Spear Team, probably thinking I'm going for a Surgeon Strikes into that slot. But I'm going to just try to get rid of the Fluttermane. Do not need to be dealing with a Fluttermane. So we'll Terrasilize it in the water. It, it will make us not weak to fairy type and on top of that we can do some more damage with the surgeon strikes but protect the birdie bird not dealing with that flutter man the dazzling gleam's gonna come out here good call from us we're protecting that i actually probably could have procced citrus berry and berserk and it would have been really really well but i'd rather do this so the outcomes my surgeon strikes bang you are gone because we got two more of those coming to your face See you later. There's two of them. Surgeon Strikes KO. We probably didn't even need the Terrasilize. Actually, I mean, if we didn't, we probably die to that. Maybe, maybe not. We are bested, but I'm just not risking it, right? I'm definitely not risking it. The Spirit Tomb is one of those slower Pokemon, so I'm really not worried about Spirit Tomb. But Iron Hand's going to come out here for the fake out. So Iron Hand's going to fake out one of us, and I believe he pops tricking with Spirit Tomb. So from here, I mean, I got to go for Surgeon Strikes. I'll go into the Spirit Tomb slot, and I could Nasty Plot up if I want to. Could Nancy pot up. Um, I could just swap into like say Shen Pao. Cause he's definitely faking out Urshfu. He's definitely faking out Urshfu. He's definitely faking out Urshfu, and he's going for. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try to land this hurricane. Actually, we'll stick with we'll stick with Fire Wrath. So I'll go Fire Wrath. And we'll just let him do his little fake out thing. So he's gonna actually Terrasilize here too. Are you gonna Terrasilize Iron Hands? You are indeed, indubitably grass. Steel. Little steel type in action. So if I get off a punch onto that close combat, that'd be big time. But we're, we're really hoping he's not popping trick room. No? Wow, that's weird. No fake out comes out. It might not be a fake out iron hand. So certain strikes now gonna come out here. If you were going for trick room, we take you out. Cool. So Urshfu coming in hot here in match number one. So some iron hands I've seen recently have not had they just have not had a uh, fake out. Which sometimes is good, sometimes bad. In this situation, definitely one that you could have faked me out. Set up potentially a trick room or did something with Spirit Tomb. But we take that all day. Thunder Punch comes in higher. He is going to get rid of my Urshfu. I don't mind that. Urshfu got some work done. So from here, I could go into stopping Tantrum with... With my... Dragonite. Or I could just go into Shen Pao and just start throwing... Sacred Swords around. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go into Sacred Sword. He could Drain Punch me. Um... Hmm, I could just actually protect it and start teeing off on this left slot because Ursula Luna is going to come out here. They don't have Terra. Um, Shores of Ruin is going to pop here. I do have Focus Ash, which is great. I kind of just want to Ice Spinner this down. I kind of just want to Ice Spinner that down. And just keep it on Fiery Wrath because Fiery Wrath we get a, ch a chance to flinch, which is awesome. So we'll see what he wants to do here. Hopefully no Protect comes out from Ursula Luna because I was going to Sacred Sword down that slot. And cool. No Protect comes out from Ursaluna. We drop an Ice Spinner. Put it down to red HP. Fire Rash should be able to finish that off. Get it on out of here. Not dealing with that. There we go. That's pretty much game set match. Because I think he Drain Punches into my Shen Pao. I have Focus Tash. He will get HP. But then from there, we just get off some big time damage. Yep, there's Drain Punch. Focus Tash me up. You can have your HP back. Because I'm taking it all the way next turn with the Sacred Sword. Right to your mid. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This team is phenomenal. We didn't go up against a top tier regulation D team. But hey. It was our first match on the rank ladder for this series. And we're 1-0, which is awesome. So Sacred Sword's going to come out here. I'm going to drop a nice lovely Fiery Wrath. And there it is. Hot start to the brand new rank season. I'm telling you guys, this team's where it's at. you got so many different options to go into. So many different plays you can make. It's great. So we do that. Rocky Helmet. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. This match isn't over yet. This match is simply not over. This is not going to KO, is it? Okay, it does KO. It is over. Cool. I was going to say, if this doesn't KO, he can hit me with a Dream Punch. Get some more HP back. But I had Dragonite with Sapa Cantrum in the back end. We would have won this one regardless. Second match on its way, and now we got a challenge. Look at this team right here. Very, very similar to us. I was going to use, actually, a team with Heatran over Moltres. Actually, it would have been probably the same team. So, 
this team is top tier. I feel like with Regulation D, the best teams are going to have the main four core, which is going to be Urshifu, or not Urshifu, it's going to be Shen Pao, Dragonite, Urshifu, and Tornadus. Those four with any other two is top tier. It is so good. But we, we decided to go with the Moltres team, try to get things rolling today. But we're 1-0 going up against this team. Uh, Shen Pao, Dragonite is going to be such a good lead for us. So I like it all around. They could Terrasilize Heatran into Grass which I might have to watch out for for the lead, but I really do like this. I really do. We're going to go Urshifu in the back end. And then last but not least, um, Fluttermane could be good. I might have to go in with a Pokemon like Tornadus late game just for some nice speed control. It's definitely an option, right? Or do I just say screw speed control? No, we're going to go Tornadus. We're going to go back in Tornadus. So we're going to go in with the main four. This is going to be the main four for Regulation D. All these Pokemon are S tier. Let's try to get it. Let's try to get it. This one's going to be scary because I feel as we're going to be have like a similar team here. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we bring the same team, same order, all that stuff. It's going to be funny. But there's a lot of different options with Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Like, Terrasilize is a big thing. You can really change up your play style that way. But Tornadus and Fluttermane are going to come out here. Um, I don't mind that. I have Sash. Um, first turn priority, again, is our best friend. Um, hmm. What do I do from here? Do I even waste a Terra? I could just Sucker Punch. I mean, Ice Spinner will KO you. I could just Terrasilize and go into a Terra Blast, which I, I kind of really like. But at the same time, E-Speed's going to be your best friend. Hmm. You have Flying Terra as well. That's not bad. I think we just use our sash here. And we go after Tornadus. You know what? Never mind. We're just gonna sucker punch down you. And I'm just gonna E speed into Tornadus. Do some big damage there. Sucker Punch gonna fly here. Do some big damage there. And we'll get after this next turn. So Tailwind's gonna come out there. I don't mind if you use like a Dazzle Gleam here. Like again, first turn priority's gonna be your best friend. And we have multi-scale on Sash, so we're fine. So, no point of us wasting Terra. So, we're sitting here with first-turn priority, ready to go. Um, I think we just do the same thing, correct? Makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. And then again, we have Tornados in the back end, so Fluttermane's going to end up protecting here. That's fine. I feel as they're, they want to go into a Pokemon with first-turn priority, such as their Dragonite. So, they're just going to let the Tornados drop out. So their Tornadus drops out here. Um, huh. What is now? What is now the play? What is now the play? Because Dragon is definitely coming out here, and he's gonna e speed to my to my Shen Pao slot, correct? I feel as I should just protect and then go from there. Yep, there's Dragonite. Dragonite now comes out here. Slight issue. This is why I wish we had Ghost Terror instead of Flying Terror on this boy. And yeah, we gotta protect this thing. We gotta protect and I guess we just E-speed. Just take off multi-scale. But he ends up oh wow, withdrawing Fluttermane. That's a weird swap. I think he wants his I think he wants his uh Shen Pao. Are you going after my Dragonite? That'd be a heck of a play. That'd be a heck of a play. That would be a heck of a play. And he's gonna end up Terrasilize. Straight normal typing? That might be the play for them. Let's see what they got. This might be a top tier play. He might be going for my uh my Dragonite. My Dragonite would die to this, I believe. Do I protect my Shen Pao? That'd be a crazy good play. I'd be surprised. E speed, yeah, it's going after my Dragonite. Wow, that's such a good play. Cause that's gonna KO me. Okay, so from here, I gotta bring out Tornas and I gotta set up that Tailwind. Um I have too many flying terrors, man. Which Shen Pao just rips into me, so oh my lord. Man, this is tough. I mean, I kind of need to land a double protect more so than anything. Actually, no. Like, we're dead regardless because he's going to E-speed and then... Do I just go into you? Potentially, right? I could go into you. Because if I go into Tornadus here, it's a problem. Because then he just E-speeds my Shen Pao and he spinners me down. We got to go into Urshfu. We got to go into Urshfu and we got we to gotta get rid of... Dragonite. So I'm going to double down Dragonite here. It's my only option. I have to get rid of Dragonite. 
He's got to go. Dragonite has got to go. Now we're sitting in a tough spot because E Speed's flying here. Can you eat this up, Shen? Or not Shen, uh, Urshfu? Can. It's a big time meetup. And Shen Pao's going to double down into that slot. And I'm able to soak. That's big time. That is big time. Sacred Sword, can you just KO? You do not. You're going to take off multi scale, and then we're just going to finish off that with close combat. So I get rid of that. Um, My defense does drop down. We still have Tornados in the back end. Um, They have Fluttermane, who's low HP. They do have Fluttermane, who's low HP. Uh, huh. Their tail, their tailwinds goes out. I might protect my Shen Pao here. I might just protect my Shen Pao. This is such a good match. This is such a good match. Such a good match. Um, Urshifu hits through Protect, so you know what? I'm going to just go Aqua Jet into this slot, and we'll go from there. Yo, Urshifu eating up them shots is big time for us. That gives us a shot in this match. This is such a good match. <laughs> this is such a good match. But I'm just going to protect my Shen Pao. I'm going to keep my Shen Pao on the field. With low HP, Aqua Jet's gonna finish off Fluttermane. Get it on out of here. And now we gotta deal with that. Hopefully Shen Pao's going after my Shen Pao. That'd be, that'd be huge. And no, it doesn't. Okay, so this is what I thought was gonna happen. So now it comes down to this. Um, Do I Tailwind Sucker Punch? I still have Terra, but Terra does nothing, right? I mean, it's going to boost our, our stats. It's going to boost our how hard we hit, but, uh... I feel as this thing's focus at, so I have to take it off a Sucker Punch. And do I Bleak Wind Storm right now, or do I go into a Tail? Let me see how fast the Shen Pao is. Is he maxed out on speed? If he's maxed out on speed, I don't think we really need to... We are maxed out on speed, but he could be maxed out on speed. I don't want to rely on a speed tie here. On a Sucker Punch. You know what we're going for? It. We're going straight for this Bleak Wind Storm. Woo! What a match. Match number two down to the wire. We made a good call going into Urshifu. There we go. I'm going to you, and instead of setting up Tailwind, we're going for the Hyper Offense. We're going for it. Maybe I should have set up a Tailwind. I don't know. I just feel as we have to get after this thing. So my Sucker Punch does come out here. Cool. We're knocking off Sash if it's there. And he's going to go for the Ice Spinner. That's gonna be game, right? It's gonna be game, right? Unless this thing's not rocket sucker punch, but it could just keep going for sucker punches. Um Thing is, I'm gonna go for a sucker punch here. How many sucker punches do I have? Five left. I'm gonna go for a sucker punch and hope he's going for a sucker punch. Cause that's what I feel as he's gotta do. You go for a sucker punch, please? No, you go for an Ice Spinner. Oh my god. We maybe could have won that match. We maybe could have just won that match. I think I blew that one. Did I blow that one, guys? I could have went Sacred Sword and won that match. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul, but hey. One and one. Let's hop to a third and final match. Look for that winning record. Hear me out here, ladies and gentlemen. Hear me out. In that last match, definitely could have won if we went into Sacred Sword. But my thought process there was his Shen Pao has Sucker Punch. So our only way of winning is to outspeed and go for a Sucker Punch before him. Dealing damage and then having their Sucker Punch miss. And maybe doing that like a couple of times. Just kind of just out reading our opponent till we win that match. But I was just expecting them to go for Sucker Punch. We could have went in Sacred Sword and potentially just won that match. But hey, we'll take that one on the chin. Hopefully you guys don't hate me for it. It was still a solid match all around. But we're hopping into our third and final match. We're going up against a team with no regulation D Pokemon. So... I feel fairly confident in winning this match, but still, very strong Pokemon on the field. I do like Urshfu here, and I kind of like Shen Pao. Let me see the speed factor here. Where's your speed at? 149. Um, You will outspeed most of these guys, which is gorgeous, which is lovely. Um, I still like Urshfu. I really do. I don't think we need Tornadus here. I mean, I could go Tornadus and Urshfu if I wanted to go Rain Dance and just start teeing off, but I feel as like Shen Pao Urshfu is going to be play with Dragonite in the back end. And then last but not least, Fluttermane could be good. Eh, Fluttermane's okay. 
Moltres is a little bit better, especially with the poison type. So I am going to go into Moltres. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves from here in the final match. But Moltres isn't so hot here either. I just feel as we need hyper offensive though instead of Tornado. So it's either Fluttermane or Moltres. And I'll, get, I'll give the edge to Moltres in this matchup. I will give the edge. But dude, I'm upset. Should have went for a Sacred Sword. Should have just played it simple. But still, overthinking. Sometimes lose your matches. And that's a great example of it. But they end up going Pinchurchy. Pinchurchin comes out here. Along the side with Iron Moth. The Mothy Moth. The Electric Surge does come out here. Wow, Shen Pao would have been. Or not Shen Pao. A Dragonite would have been great here. He's going to Quirk Drive boost here. So what are you boosting? Your special attack. Okay. Special attack is Hyun. Um, I think I'm just going to Terrasalize and Surgeon Strikes Pinchurchin. Kind of just want to get rid of that. Because that's one of her better plays here. And I could take out Terrain by going for an Ice Spinner. And I might double down to Pinchurchin. Make sure his Pokemon goes out. And I feel as it goes out regardless. I feel as it goes out regardless. But you know, we're going to double down into it. I'm taking it out. I'm saying see you later to it. I'm getting rid of it. Just getting rid of it. I don't feel like dealing with it. So I'm doubling down. I'm taking out the terrain. We're going to get rid of his Quirk Drive boost here as well. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. It's going to be cool. We're thriving here. We are thriving. But we'll see what they want to do. Ice Spinner's going to fly here. I'm doubling down because this thing's rather bold, right? And wow, we probably could have KO'd it with just Surgeon Strikes, but... Gotta, 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 gotta get, get going with that. We gotta... We gotta just make make sure that we pick up the KO. So Fiery Dance now flies out here. It's gonna bring us down to Stash. No burns. Cool. No burns come out here. That's fine by me. Surgeon Strikes is now gonna fly. I can Surgeon Strikes into the Moth next turn. We're just gonna get rid of the Pin Charger because I do not want to lose that. Wow, yeah. We would have KO'd that thing, no problem. What am I doing? I'm underestimating the power of Urshfu. Pokemon is ridiculous. He's ridiculous. So now, what do we do? Let's play. So Shen Pao is so far the fastest. Hopefully he doesn't come out here with anybody with first turn priority. I'm trying to remember his team. I think we're good. Magnet Zones can fly here. The Magnets of Zones. Might double down the Magnet Zone. Am I worried about Magnet Zone? It doesn't have Levitate, but it does have Sturdy. Could just close combat it. Actually, we're just going to get rid of Iron Moth here. And I will Sacred Sword and do as much damage as I can to Magnet Zone. Cool. So the Sacred Sword flies out here, bringing it down to a nice little red. And we're going to pop its lovely little air balloon. Now Fiery Dance comes out here. He's going to finish off Shen Pao, and we'll finish off the Iron Moth here as well. Cool. Actually, yeah, okay. I was going to say Shen Pao, or not Shen Pao, Urshfu should be faster than, than this Magnetone. This Magnetone is definitely dropping me with like a Thunderbolt or something. Cool. So we go first. We're going to get rid of the Moth. This might be able to one-shot it. Close. Close. Close with the one-shot. We're getting rid of it though. Get it on out my face. Get on out of here. And hopefully they go for a Thunder and Miss. That'd be, that'd be nice for us. But probably Thunderbolt, right? Probably a nice Zesty Thunderbolt coming out here. No, straight Thunder. And they do connect. It's gonna it's gonna say see you later to me. Even though I'm bested, Urshu does not fare too well with his Thunders. So he drops out. I still feel as we're sitting in such a good spot. We got the Moltres. Fire Wrath will KO that Magnet soon. And then we just have my boy Dragonite with the Choice Band. And I'll probably Terrasalize and maybe Flying him just start dropping Flying moves into these Pokemon. <clears throat> so the Birdie Bird comes out here alongside with Dragon Birdie Bird. And yeah, there goes Gambit. Ooh, we might want to stick with a, with a Ground Terror move. Probably our best bet, Ground Terror. Well, not Ground Terror, our Stomping Tantrum. Definitely our best bet. Hands down our best bet. So from here, do I even Terrasalize? I definitely want a Stomping Tantrum. Oh, I already used my Terror. What am I doing? And I'll just Fire Wrath. Okay, so third and final match on the rank ladder. Seems seems pretty pretty cake for us, right? Seems pretty cake. We should have went three, you know, and that's upsetting, but we made it we made a bad call. We made a bad call. Happens. Yeah, I've seen that a couple times on the Gene channel. But hey, we'll take a two-one record all day. Can't complain about a winning record, you know? So the terrestrialization can come out here. This is gonna be a solid terror. I'm sticking with ground typing. Ooh. Stay seal. We're in trouble. We are, we are so in trouble. Give me a flinch. We are in trouble. I can't do anything with my Dragonite. Hopefully he doesn't know we're choice band. Go after my Dragonite, please. Go after my Dragonite, please, and thank you. Go after Dragonite. 
You get berserk popping. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Chill on me, man. Give me a second. Can't do anything. Can't switch. I can't switch. I cannot switch. Give me a flinch. I need a flinch. I need some big time damage here. Almost KO. Please. Please go after Dragonite. Please! I don't want to talk about it. I just don't want to talk about it. Dude, just, just let it be. Let's forget about it. Let's put it behind us. We don't need to talk about it. One and two for today's video should have been three and oh. That is wild. Two matches lost to some craziness, to some nonsense on my end and on the game's end. I mean, second match was on my end. And then that last match, that third and final match, was just like one in a million chance for our opponent. They lucked out so much with the flying terror type and me being choice banned and me choosing to go into stop against him. It just was awful. It was awful. It was definitely terrible. It was terrible. But hey, I'll, that, I'll take that one and two record. Even though I was showbooting about a two and one record, but... We'll take that one and two record. Considering we played really, really good and showcased this team to its fullest potential. I still think it's one of the best teams for ranked matches. So if you guys look for a good team, make sure you guys rent it with the rental code in top right hand corner. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.